Hello again, everyone. This is a clear click video to digital format converter. I'm going to open it up here and show you what's in the box. And this is a DVD VCR combo I'm going to be using to play some old home movie videotapes. And we're going to record them onto this device and a USB stick. I have three of those that I purchased too. So that should give me more than enough memory to transfer all my videotapes. And I have a pretty much a almost a box full of these old VHS tapes, home movies from all the way back to the mid 80s. So I'm gonna be putting them on on the USB sticks. I don't have to worry about the tapes deteriorating any further. So let's get started. And there's a USB stick we'll be using. These are SanDisk brand, and that's what the ClearClick recommends that you use. So I followed their recommendations. These are 32 gig each. And from what I've read, that should hold probably 50 to 60 hours of video. Of course, we'll see once we start doing it and using them. And now let's open up the clear click box and see what's in it. All right, there's a clear click. It uses a USB connector type cable for the power supply. Uh, Small end plugs into the box, big end into the USB adapter that plugs into the wall outlet. And then you also get an AV cable, uh, yellow, white, red. This will take an S video also. Yeah, right there. We'll just be using a yellow, white, red. And you get a little book with it. Uh, I've been watching several videos about how it works, so I think I'm kind of familiar with it. Let's get it hooked up and see how it does. Pretty simple here on the back. You plug your, use your AV cable. Just match the colors of the cable. Yellow, white, red. Power cable plugs in right there. And you plug the power cord into the USB adapter. And we'll plug it into the electrical outlet. And we have a display. And this label says remove the temporary screen protector by slowly pulling the green tab, which is right here. And we just there's a screen protector coming off. Looks like we're ready to go on that. I need to set the date. Uh, that really doesn't have anything to do with recording from what I've learned about this. Uh, but I think that's more for the auto start stop feature where you can tell this to come on at a certain time and stop at a certain time. That's probably why the date's necessary. But I'm going to set the date. We hit menu. We're on English language, and then we want to scroll down to time set, hit OK, and year is 23, month is 12, and today is the 7th. And the time is 1.12. And there's our date and time right in the corner there. Now this does say that it has a time watermark. 
So I'm going to turn that on. I think that does put a time on the USB. Uh, signal loss, we're going to leave that off. Auto stop recording, we're going to leave it off. This video quality, you just want to leave it on auto detection and it knows what format to record in. Uh, video source is AV. Storage device, this is where you can use an SD card and it goes in right here. I haven't pulled the label off there, but underneath there's a slot for an SD card. But I'm going to be using the USB, which is there. So we're going to change that to USB. And then we don't want to schedule recording. Confirm formatting. And apparently that didn't take long, so it probably wasn't necessary to do that. But and that's that's all of the menus. That's a firmware update. You can actually do that with a USB stick. You gotta load the update from your computer and then put it onto this. So should have that. Okay, let's plug in the AV cable to the VCR DVD combo and put a tape in and see what we get. And here's the back of the combo. Just match the colors, yellow, white, red. Video outs. Tape's playing. And there's our image. Now, right now I'm just watching it. If I want to record that, of course I need to run the tape back to where I want to start. Hit the record button. So let's try that. And we're got, we have a counter right there, so this should be recording. This particular tape is only like 20 minutes of, of video on it that I want to save, so we'll let it run. And then we'll take the USB stick and try it in the computer and see if it works. Uh, this also, when you're recording, this is a volume down and volume up, so you want to hear the sound. That's down, so that's all the way up. One thing I <clears throat> will say, if you're going to do a lot of video, a lot of, lot of transfers, it would be nice to have this on a solid piece with those two screw holes in the back. I may go down to the shop while this is recording and make me a little stand with a couple of screws in it. And I think if you did turn on that signal loss detection on the menu of the clear click, when you're between scenes on your videotape and it goes to snow, it might stop recording. I'm not sure about that, but I just turned it off to where it'll record even if it's snow on the screen for a few seconds. The first videotape is finished. Had about 16 minutes. So we stopped our recording. And that's something else on the tape. That's not something I want to keep. So we're going to stop, rewind the tape, take it out and put another tape in. And another thing I like about this, once you stop recording, that's one file that's recorded. And then when we start recording on a second tape, that'll be on a separate file. And when you put it in the computer, it'll be listed like that. First file is like 16 minutes, second file will be two hours or whatever. And I'm pretty sure we can name those files on the USB stick. Once we put them in the computer, we can say Home Movies 1986. And that way we can keep track of 
what's on each file and what years they are. So far, I like this. This next video is just some old 8mm home movies from 1960 to the mid 80s. And I wrote, written on here an hour and 20 minutes. What I'm going to do is put this into VCR and I'm going to fast forward and see how long it actually is. And we have a counter on the front of the VCR DVD combo. So I'm going to stop at about an hour and 15 minutes and see how close we are to the end of the tape. That's 10 minutes, 11, 12. Okay, we're at a one hour and 21 minutes. And I did remember a feature that this combo unit has. You can hit stop and you can hit fast forward and it, the counter will stop counting whenever there's no signal. So let me run this back and you'll watch the counter it'll start counting. Okay, it, it detected signal there. So if we forward through that. Okay, at one hour and 23 minutes. That's the end of that tape. Tape's rewound. I started at the beginning. And we've recorded 34 seconds so far. And in an hour and 20 minutes, I'll come back and watch this until the very end where I can stop the clear click at the end of the tape. Alright, I think we're about at the end of this tape. Okay, that's the end of that. So we hit stop. Now let's take this USB stick, go upstairs and we'll put it in the computer and see if it plays. Open the files and there's our disk, the USB disk. There's our 15 minute video that we done first. And here's our last one. Well, I would say that looks, looks about as good as a videotape does. Now, I'm gonna go back to this first one. I'm gonna label it. We're going to rename it. We're going to call that Home Movies 1986. Home Movies 1960 to 85. This is approximately two or an hour and what do we say, an hour and 20 minutes, so 80 minutes just took two and a half gig, gigabytes of memory. So about two gigabytes per hour, that's about what it uses. So let's click on this and make sure it still plays. We scroll through it at different places. Still works. Yeah, some of these are really dark, but keep in mind they're eight millimeter home movies. Have our first two labeled. 
So now we'll safely eject it. We're going to the eject button. Ready to go put some more on there. All right, about 20 more takes to go, maybe 25. So that box full. These are the ones that I've already scrolled through and wrote down how long they are. So that's how the Clear Click Video 2.0 works. What I've seen of this so far, I really like it. Simple to do. And once we get all of those tapes transferred, we have a permanent digital format. Did a little more work on the mount for the clear click. Uh, determined that it was better if the front was sloped. So just took two befores, cut an angle on them where it would slope. And easy to use the controls now. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you next time. Well, we hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, how about giving us a like and subscribing to our channel. Thanks.